It's a lab is an initiative by ESA, the European Space Agency, to connect more with university students and to inspire them and educate them for the future of space exploration and develop the key technologies needed for that. And uh, the Swiss Space Center coordinated the first ESA lab. IGLUNA started in September 2018 and now ended with a field campaign in CERMAT, Switzerland. Uh, for two and a half weeks, gathering all the student teams and their projects. It was one academic year where we had 150 students from 13 universities in nine European countries working together on the challenge of a habitat in an extreme environment like for the moon. So we started, the ice cave was empty and the students came and brought their projects and they started building it all together. It was very exciting to see them really collaborate, really the process worked, so they were like a family working together. To, to build the habitat in ICE, to, to have their, their projects there, their experiments, to show it to the public. We had an inauguration to start uh, the Vernissage Backstage uh, exhibition and also the Glacier exhibition. And we invited uh, tourists as well, local people, so they could also learn. And we did a lot of outreach to show them about space. People were inspired and motivated and really um, proud of what the students accomplished in this year. We focus the challenge of a habitat in ice because there has been research showing that there could be enough ice in the moon to actually have the habitat inside. And we say inside and not on the surface because we want to stay protected from radiation, meteorites, and also have a constant temperature and, uh, and the natural resource of ice, which is uh, rich with water and oxygen and fuel. And we went to, to a real life scenario in CERMA to test this technology. So we, at the field campaign in the Klein Matterhorn Glacier Paradise inside an ice cave where the students could test their technologies there. And we also had some other student projects doing more conceptual and artistic projects. And they built up an exhibition hall at the backstage Vernissage Hotel downtown in Cermat. Really, really impressed by what the students from many countries are doing over here in the ESA lab Igluna. And what I saw here is really what is coming to my heart because what we need is the future. And curiosity is the main driver of future. Through curiosity, through fascination, inspiration, we can really create motivation and we need motivated young people to create the future, the future of our world. And I'm really happy that I can be here. We had special guests coming over from Starmus. We had our Swiss astronaut Claude Nicolier, also Apollo astronauts Al Verden and Harrison Schmidt, who actually walked on the moon. We had the flight director from Apollo missions, um, Gary Griffin, also the former Hubble telescope director, Bob Williams, and uh, cosmonaut Yuri Baturin visiting us. They were very interested in seeing the student projects and they gave them very valuable feedback the students were very inspired and very happy to be able to share their, their experience with real people working in space who actually were in space. So we were in CERMAT for two and a half weeks and before dismounting everything and packing we had a closing ceremony with motivational speeches and also a farewell dinner all together like a family. We got to, to tell our experience during the field campaign, during the whole project and we're continuing with the future uh, project Igluna 2020. It's a follow-up project taking together all these feedbacks, all these inputs to make it even better. And we're starting in September 2019.